there. Look what you just made. Today, we are going to wrap a garnet. We're gonna do a hippie wrap. A little faceted garnet. I got at Bonnaroo last year. This is um about 18 millimeter stone, faceted stone, thereabouts. So, ignore the paint on my hands. I dropped a bucket of paint. Let's get busy. I will put a list of the tools that are used in today's video in the description um, so you can refer to that. So, an 18 millimeter faceted stone. <clears throat> You're going to need a pair of side nippers, a pair of chain nose pliers. Uh, I don't need those. Uh, round nose pliers. And then I also have these as extra. It's just a bigger set of the chain nose pliers. Probably won't use them, but just in case. Um, I'm also wrapping this in sterling today. Um, so I have two pieces of 20 gauge sterling, uh, approximately. Uh, oh, big daddy. Uh, approximately seven inches long. So two pieces. 20 gauge sterling seven inches long and then for my anchor wires i got 24 gauge uh sterling i have one piece it's about 10 11 inches long first you want to find your your midpoint of your wire i like to eyeball uh, and make an anchor wrap so to make an anchor wrap. I leave a little bit of a tail just so I can hold on to it and hold it tightly and bring the wire around and make several wraps keeping it pulled tightly as you go. There's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ugh. There's about 15 wraps there. It's a nice, nice big solid base. Fits perfectly in one of the, the facets on this stone. Uh, so that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to take it to the back, pull it really tight, make some tension, push it together with my thumbnails, make it nice and make that coil nice and gathered there. And snip it off flush in the back. Now with my chain nose pliers, I'm just going to tighten this up even more, pushing it together. Okay. Straighten out my, so here's where the other pair of pliers comes in pretty good. So I can straighten my wires out, make them more flush. And we're gonna trim this here or uh, give that a mesh there to lock that in and then I'll trim this side.
and then mash it flush. Feel for any burrs. Feels pretty good. Let's lock it into place. Let's give it a good mash across there. We are locked into place. Now I'm going to straighten my wires out again. Tighten that back up a little bit. Okay. Now, let's get a form. We'll do a free form here. So, this, this here fits that facet pretty good. So, if you need to use your pliers, do so. But hold it into place and bring it up around to get an idea of the um, size of the stone. Okay, so now looking at this, I'm holding it where the bale's going to be. I'm going to have to bring these wires up and lock them around front and back to lock the stone into place. So I'll need to set another anchor um, oh, gather your thoughts, Tish. I'm going to need to set another anchor about midway, maybe even closer to the top, so I can bend these way out and lock them into place. So I'm going to put a small anchor about at the three-quarter point up the stone from the bottom on either side, here and here. So... And then, once I do that, I can pull the wire back through it, give me extra links. That's why I have so much on the top. So I can pull that wire back down and use that to anchor up onto the stone. So, the three-quarter point, approximately, that's why we call it a hippie wrap. These are approximates. These are fun, <clears throat> a little carefree, like me. Oh, I lost, oh, there it is. It's like I lost my... My anchor wire. Okay. So it's going to be a small anchor. So you hold it in place. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks good. I like six. Trim them off. Okay. Straighten up my wires. I'm going to do the same over here. These are wanting to cross. So when they, you have to watch for that. So I need to make sure they're back in place. Get my anchor wire. And go up. Again, about three quarters. And we're going to do six wraps here. And then I can adjust them. I can slide them wherever I need them to go. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. Push it into place a little bit. Go ahead and trim it off on the back. Set that off to the side. I may need it. All right, let's straighten it up. Straighten up my wires. Now let's go back and form it on the stone again. I don't. This wants to curve. They don't. They want to go beside each other. I'm going to straighten this up again. A lot of wire straightening. A lot of stopping and starting. A lot of forming. Okay. And these will obviously stop trying to twist <clears throat> once you get these top anchors locked into place. So let's see. Where, where are we going to anchor it? Here. Okay. So I'm going to anchor my stone. I'm trying to find that good flat place again. That'll work. But I need to move these down. So I'm, I haven't locked them into place from mashing them. So I'm going to move them down a little bit. They slide real easy with your fingers. See that? And then once again, get to measure again. Okay, that's good. 
Yeah, I'm going to take this one back up a little higher. Now, I got them right about where I want them. Let me find that. Yeah, about right there. Yeah. Okay, got that right about where I want it. So now I need to separate these <clears throat> and bring a lot of extra wire down. Because I want it a good fit around that stone. Okay, let's do the same over here on this side. Just go ahead and open this up. Don't do that. If I can get the tip of that worked in, I can get that. There we go. Here we go. This is a big thick stone, which makes it a little harder to work with, but it's not impossible. Yeah, so you can see it's going to be a good bend around the front and back on that side. And then gonna push it in place. And over here, it's a little thicker. I need more wire. So that's Yeah, perfect. That will be perfect. What I like about the hippie wraps too is there's no front and back, so it doesn't matter how you put your put your pendant on. Oh, that's good. That's gonna be a good amount of wire. Okay. So you can see where where kind of like the neck of that bend is. I'm gonna push my anchor down really tight against that and lock it and I will trim it up later and the same thing on this side okay I'm going to push that anchor down to the top of the neck there and lock it into place There we go. There it is. Gonna give it a good mash. Mm, like dogs. That's gonna take some work. Okay, good, got it. So that's mashed into place. Those are locked. Now, let's get that bale formed. So put the stone where, hang on. I get that tail fixed. Four, I get that stone locked in. There. Okay. All right, get your stone in where you want it. Go ahead and pinch this closer to the top for your bale. And go ahead and begin to work those wires around the stone. Okay. go now you're going to want to start your form your bale so bring your wire down 
and bend it straight up about midpoint and you want them to meet and bend them up so you can see that's where they meet and that's where you'll make your bail. Now I've got a load of extra wire and I could get really scrolly on this but I really want this to be just really free form, not ornate. Um, so I'm going to hold my round nose pliers to down very, very, like to the end of the base of that, that bail. I'm going to bend all four wires away from me. I'm going to turn my round nose pliers up a quarter turn, bring all four wires back towards me, bring my round nose pliers back up a half a turn, and then take all four wires and wrap them around to the back, to the front, to the back, to the front, making a really thick, thick bail here. Okay? It's really cool. Okay, now I'm going to trim off this excess. And leave a little bit of this tail to work with. And now I'm going to form up my bail and straighten it up. I'm going to bring these four around and lock them in. Just little movements at a time. A little, just working through each wire one at a time. All right, we'll come back and revisit that. Oh, it's going to be pretty. It's going to be chunky. I love that. Now, let's get this anchored in. The stone has turned a little bit while we've been working, and that's okay. Move the stone where you want it, and use your fingers to bring that wire around to hold it in place. Oh, yeah, it's getting nice and snug. Now take your chain nose plier and you'll use it to, oh, focus. Use the side of it to mesh that wire over really nice and close to the stone. And keep turning your stone, working right to left, front to back. Okay, here we go. And now take your chain nose player and just give it just a tiny turn. And then over here, another quarter turn. Just a light, light, light turn. Turn it over, start on the right, quarter turn. Rotate it, quarter turn on the other side. That just tightened it up really good. Really tight in there. Now, you can see here, well, focus camera. We need to tighten this up here. So use the corner of your pliers. Push that up into place. It's a lot of manipulation right now. Okay. Now I've moved that, got it closer to the stone. I need to turn this one again. Don't turn it hard, you'll break your wire. Tiny, tiny little turns. There. So then, then the same thing, so we did this side, we gotta do this side. So I'm gonna rotate it, I'm right handed, makes it easier for me. And pull that wire over, and then we're gonna do the other side. It's nice and tight, but there's still gap here. So I'm going to straighten that up. Working it up with my plier. Giving just a little tiny turn. And then I'm going to rotate it and do this side. Same thing. Bringing it up. Bringing it around. 
tiny turn. Using the, the side of my pliers. That's in there. That's in there. It's not going anywhere. Okay. I'm going to straighten up my, my bail a little bit more. Turn it so it's will hang the pin it the right way. I still got a few of these to get mashed in here. Just a matter of just a few little tweaks. There we go. Tucked in there nice and tight. There. Look what you just made. You wrapped a garnet in sterling in a hippie wrap. Oh, yeah, that's in there. Garnet's a great stone for, uh, it's a stone of um, healing and purifying. Um, it's a it's a great stone if you need a cleansing. Um, if you have had a bad day or you're carrying some baggage, throw on a garnet. Give yourself a good spiritual cleansing. Start fresh. Well, there it is. There's a little hippie wrap on a garnet. And you did that. So remember. Be peaceful. Be kind. It's important. I'll talk to you soon.